Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I got some chilies. I got the triple dipper. I'm so addicted to these Nashville hot mozzarella sticks. Like, I'm not even kidding, it's the best mozzarella stick I've ever had. I might even like them more than Korean fried cheese, which, <laughs> that says a lot. So, I just got the triple dipper today with the Nashville hot mod sticks, the Southwest egg rolls, and Chipotle honey boneless wings. And then I got a big cup of ranch on the side. And then I think it comes with like an avocado ranch and then two miniature ranches maybe. But yummy. And then I also asked you guys on my Instagram for a Q&A. So I saved some questions down too that I'm going to be answering during this little mukbang. But like look at that. Let's take one of these and take a thumbnail. Let's get a cheese pool. I'm going to try not to make a mess too. Oh my goodness. They're so good. Lots of people were saying they think they're too salty. I love salt, but I don't think they're too salty. That's kind of how like the Nashville hot flavor just is because I remember when KFC had those Nashville hot tenders, they were kind of similar. Like some people thought they were too salty. Mm. I think they're so, so good. Like this cheese pull is crazy. Yummy. Mm. I love me a cheese pull. I know some people like hate them, but Obviously, it's more for like the aesthetic of the video a little bit. Eh, what am I talking about? If I was inside Chili's, I would be doing the same thing. <laughs> I love a cheese pool. All my friends know how much I love cheese pools too. So whenever they're like eating mozzarella sticks or something with a cheese pool, they always send me videos of it. I love that. It's just so satisfying. Mm-mm-mm. Okay, let's answer some questions you guys asked. So, we have, oh, do we not have a fork? We might have one on my door. Yep, which also shout out to the Chili's employee. She said she loves watching all of my videos. And I was telling her how obsessed I am with these Nashville hot sticks. And I've been going to Chili's like twice a week. No, not really, like once a week. Because I've been doing videos over, my, over on my TikTok eating them. Let's try one of these wings out. I don't know if I've ever had their boneless wings. They look so saucy and good though. So, favorite type of music. I love country music. I used to hate country music, but country music is my favorite. The music is just such good vibes. I don't know, you can listen to it like any day and it just like puts you in a better mood. Mmm. Good flavor. Mm. Are you fully Greek? What is your mom? So I am on my dad's side. My dad was Greek and Italian, and then my mom's side is Hungarian and Slovak. So I'm a mixture of all of those. I did do the Ancestry DNA test, and I am more Greek and Italian, so I have more of my dad's genes, just like a little bit more. And then my brother has more of my mom's genes. Mmm. The texture of these is just so good. Which lots of people will say, I look a lot like my dad. But then I also see some comments saying I look just like my mom. So what do you guys think? I think I have like my dad's eyes and 
dark features and my mom's maybe smile. How do you keep your body fit as you eat so much junk food? So I really don't eat that much junk food. Lots of my food videos are just like fun takeout, but other than this, I eat pretty much all at home, all home cooked meals, and I think I eat pretty good. I eat lots of veggies, and I eat pretty small meals throughout the day, like for breakfast, typically like a yogurt or oatmeal or a coffee, and then just like smaller stuff throughout the day, and then dinner is when I eat more, but I try to just eat like protein, veggies, and rice. So I don't think I really eat too much junk food. I don't eat too many snacks. My go-to snack is popcorn. or apples dipped inside of nerdy nuts. That is so good. You guys need to try that if you have not. I love my nerdy nuts. I passed out candy to the trick-or-treaters the other day and I gave away tons of Mr. Beast bars. All the kids went crazy over those and then I had so many leftover unopened nerdy nuts jars because they sent me all the new flavors to try and do videos on and sometimes I don't get around to trying all of them because I don't like opening more than what I can eat. So I gave away like 20 jars of Nerdy Nuts. Which if you don't know what that is, it's loaded peanut butters. Some are like a cheesecake peanut butter. Some are dark chocolate peanut butters. Some have Oreos in it, cookie doughs, caramel, sea salt, caramel truffles. Like they're all different and they have fun names and they have like holiday ones, which I have been working with them for a while. That's why I went to South Dakota last year too, to meet the team. I do have my own peanut butter flavor too. It's called Cookie Heaven and it drops like every few months or so. And then when it's sold out, and then when it's sold out, it'll be sold out for a little while until it comes back in stock. But I do have a code with them. It's Steph Yum. <laughs> do you guys remember when I had merch that said Yum? Which I do want to come out with merch again. I just don't really have any ideas. So if anyone has any ideas, let me know in the comments. Yum. Just like look how saucy. How come a lot of your YouTube videos are deleted? So if you're talking about old, old ones, I did go through and private lots of them. Ones that are like seven plus years old. I still have ones from like five, six years ago and so on. But I did private lots of my really old ones just because I thought they were so cringe. I was so, so young. I was maybe like 16, 17 at the time. And I just am a lot different than I was back when I was in high school and so much younger. I'm 24 now, so. I just privated them because honestly, I thought they were like embarrassing. <laughs> I'm glad we started off with this because you gotta eat them at the right temperature to get that cheese pool. They're still really hot too. Mm. They fall apart so easy, but like when you take a moment to reheat them, I'll just put like the mound of cheese and breading in the air fryer, and it's still so good. You should try the never-ending pasta at Olive Garden. Oh my gosh, I need to. I haven't been to Olive Garden probably in like over four years and such eh, maybe not maybe if I've done videos on my channel but other than getting takeout I have not been inside of Olive Garden in forever I do need to do that how come you barely vlog anymore home decor recipes etc I feel like I still do a lot. I post a vlog at least once a week on my vlog channel. 
and they're like 25 minutes long so I don't know even though it seems like vlogging is super easy it's also like just like an all-day thing and sometimes I don't really know what to film or talk about I'm not just gonna film myself doing nothing you know so I only film it on days where I think it's exciting for you guys to watch But I did just film a vlog getting ready for Halloween, so you can go check that out. I'll definitely be filming more vlogs during the holiday season, decorating for the holidays and whatnot. I didn't really decorate too much for, like, summer or Easter, so that's why there's been, like, no decor vlogs in a while, because once I decorate, I kind of just leave it like that. I've been trying to keep my decorating more minimal and not, like, so much stuff everywhere besides Christmas. I'm going to go crazy for Christmas. Mmm. These are so good. I don't even know what's inside of them. I think spinach and corn. But I'll try to vlog more. I see lots of you guys were asking about the vlogs and saying how, like, you'll go rewatch old ones because you love them so much, which I'm so glad you guys do. So I'll definitely try to do some more, more, like, get ready with me for, like, date nights and just all kinds of stuff. My hands are so sticky. And this is a big wing. So this person says, do you prefer to wear shoes, sandals, or being barefoot? I definitely prefer sandals. I love wearing sandals and I also love being barefoot. Love it. Like I would walk around outside barefoot if I could. Like sometimes I'll go get the male barefoot and then there's like gravel and stuff on my driveway. So it does hurt my toes, but I love being barefoot. I'm not barefoot too much anymore though. I usually walk around in sandals in my house or slippers because just with all the dogs and stuff, like I do clean every day. Like I'm always cleaning the floors and stuff, but I don't know. I do usually have shoes on. But I love sandals. So easy to put them on and take them off. <laughs> How did you and your boyfriend meet? P.S. I love you. Love you too, Trish. We followed each other on Instagram for like a long time, like 10 years or something. We've always lived in the same area and stuff and went to schools that were like right next to each other. So if there was any like local parties or anything, like we maybe saw each other there we met one time like forever ago like it was more just like a hi like you know we follow each other on instagram just like quick little small talk one time forever ago like like maybe like eight years ago or something i don't know a long time ago but that was it pretty much and then we would dm sometimes on instagram back and forth like at least like once a year on instagram dm just like saying like hi so then like a year ago i think he slid up on one of my photos of the dogs or something and then i responded and then like a couple days later i slid up on his story of his dog which is a frenchie and i said something and then we kind of just kept talking from there we talked about like snowboarding and skiing and like where where we each were living in the area and what like we like to do for fun and then he's like here let me give you my number we should totally go out and get a bite to eat sometime I am full, you guys. This food is, like, so filling because it's all fried. So then I gave him my number, and he texts me that night, and he's like, Hi, like, what are you doing? Do you have any plans tonight? And I'm like, Oh, I'm already in my pajamas. I'm just staying in tonight because it was a Saturday. And he's like, yeah, we should really plan to do something soon. Like, a Browns game would be fun. I'm like, yeah, a Browns game would be so fun. And then he's like, want to go to the one tomorrow? And I'm like, sure. <laughs> Which typically I would have said no to someone that I, like, I don't really know. You know, because that's like a long date. We're an hour from the Browns stadium. And then that's like an all-day date. You know, it's not like a quick little dinner date. You go hang out for like two hours and then you're free to go. This was like a long date. But I don't know, something inside me was just like, I want to go. And I'm like so excited to go too. Like I'm not even nervous. I'm like really excited to actually like meet him and hang out with him. So he's like, okay, let me look at tickets. And then he's like, all right, bought some tickets. 
and I said, let me know how much mine costs so I can send you money. And he's like, oh, don't worry about it. You could just buy me a pretzel. So now that's our joke. Like every time we go to a game, like a basketball game, football, anything, we're always just like, just buy me a pretzel. <sighs> So then that morning we went to the game together and after that we like never spent a day apart. We kind of just like clicked immediately and we're like best friends. <laughs> yeah, so that's how we met and then we started dating like a month after. Yeah, about a month after. But yeah, ever since that first Browns date we really never spent a day apart. <laughs> I think like one day went by after the Browns game and then he came over and I cooked dinner for us and we just played like games and stuff. I don't know we really did spend like every single day together after that which is crazy but like we both wanted to hang out like it wasn't like anyone was being pushy or like too clingy like we both just wanted to hang out and just wanted to be with each other but yeah that's the little love story I am full you guys but this was yummy if you have not tried the triple dip yet definitely get it those mott sticks are mmm they're the best when they're fresh though and if you have leftovers you air fry them good as new but I love you all thank you for watching today's video I will see you in the next bye